Now you you, you I, I've seen that you uh hanging out with Richard Pryor and oh, yeah. in the past YouTube videos and oh yeah I've been on Richard I knew Richard when he when I first got to California in 1974 mm. and you did his roast too like, like how you yeah. meet, how did you meet Richard Pryor what kind of guy was well he? Richard Pryor was a quiet guy but he was very funny uh, Mooney Paul Mooney put uh, we, he was the Richard Pryor's friend and the, and the casting agent on Richard Pryor's show. Mm. So he got all of us on Richard Pryor's show. Nobody else did. I tell everybody Mooney did that. Mm. So everybody trying to take the the uh, the uh, credit for, it, but it was Richard Pryor. It was Paul Mooney who got us on the Richard Pryor show. Richard would like to um, thank all of uh, the people who made it made it possible for him being on NBC, and that's you. So give yourself a hand. <laughs> all right, and you know what NBC means. Nigger, be careful. <laughs> hey, this is John Witherspoon. Bang, 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 bang. And you're watching This Is 50.com. Yeah. Better put some water on that damn shit. Do you have any regrets about anything that happened inside your career? Anything you do over again? I don't know. You know, it, it takes a lot to become. A star, so you know, a lot of times you ain't gonna be, you know, you, I didn't get the money that I thought I should have done, and they won't give me a raise on the on the Wayne brother, but I prolonged it too long, asked for more money, they took the, the contract off the table. God damn. Yeah, so I regret that. That was real. Yeah, that was real. Oh, I thought you that was that was no no no. Shit. They were gonna give me my raise. I said that ain't enough. I I'm worth more than that motherfucker shit. He's okay, Mister Witherspoon. <laughs> I said, man, I'm just joking, man. Where's my money? <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to let you go, Dino. It's okay. Oh, it's okay. Oh, Dino. Dino. Oh, Dino. Come on. No, you crazy. I'm sorry. But uh, no, I, I messed up on that deal. And that mother, they wouldn't even. I started to just quit the show. And I thought about that little money I had coming anyway. I said, but I've been. been I, I'm, we only had about. Another year to go on the show anyway, because they fired, they let us all go. But I, I regret that. Part. Did that That's the only you, thing. Did, did that piss you off? Because that was a big, well, that was a big part of your life right there. Oh, when you mean the Wayne brother? Yeah. Oh yeah, big part. Because I wasn't making the kind of money until I got the Wayne brother. Mm. You know, I did all right. I did movies and stuff like that. But you don't get the kind of money you get. That regular money is that regular money is good. Mm. You know, you do thirteen shows and you pick up the back nine. Mm. You do 22 a year, see? Mm. So that's some damn good money. Then, yeah, we've been five years on that show. Mm. You know, then I got arrogant. Oh, I'm deserving up. <laughs> it's okay, nigga. <laughs> Robin Harris. Did you ever get a chance to work with Robin Harris? I worked with Robin Harris. That's my man. We were supposed to do a whole bunch of stuff. He's funny. He was a funny man. Yeah, Y'all did He's a house party man. together. Yeah, we did. I didn't get, get a chance to work with him, though. Oh, okay, okay. There were two yeah. different scenes. Yeah, two diff different scenes. And, yeah, and uh, they told me to... Um, uh, uh, Reggie Hutton, the director, told mm -hmm. me to stick my head out the window. Last moment, he said, "Let's do this." You stick your head out the window, and you hollering at the kids. Mm -hmm. He said, "As long as you can, you hollering at the kids, I'm gonna keep the camera on you." I said, "Oh, you will." Huh? Mm -hmm. And all ad lib, you know, all, all ad, ad lib. All ad lib. I stayed up there too long. I stayed up there for about 20 minutes. <laughs> hey, hey, hey! You shut up all that damn noise. I paid fifteen thousand dollars for this house. Who else is over there? Public enemy? What's his name? Public enemy? Public enemy? What the hell is a public enema anyway? Who gonna give a public enema? Walter. You, hey, brother, you by yourself. What's wrong, brother? <laughs> that maybe that big waterhead you got. Hey, shut up all this damn noise. Hey, baby. Robin Way. Yeah. You got a chance to work with him. Yeah, I work with him too. Mm. But you know, ain't nothing you can do about that, man. You know, you, 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 you don't, you can't predict anybody. Mm. You know, you, you can't predict. You don't know what he went through. I know he was losing money because he married all them women. He married them women, everybody getting that paper from him, see? Oh, right, right. And, you know, and then he, uh, you know, you got uh, three or four women, three or four babies by these women. Mm. They got paid for all that, mm. you know? All that ha-ha, he-he shit is over. <laughs> <laughs> and then, you know, then and, and he got a he, he coke habit mm. and drinking habit, you know? And that shit it comes on your ass, man. Mm. So everybody see you now, you laughing. They laughing at you. Mm. Man, they laughing at you. But he go home, he's sad, mm. you know? Right? But, uh, you know... He set up his situation like that. Mm. So, you know, I, and, you know, but you can never tell what a person thinking in their mind. You know, drinking and shit. But the thing, he was on, he was sober. But the women brought, he gave all them brought that money. He needed some paper. Mm. He needed some paper, you know. 
And you had a job that uh, uh, the, the, the uh, crazy ones on CBS, you gave him a TV show, $165,000 a week. But the women be waiting for his ass when he got home. Take this wife! You ever thought about your life being a, li- a, a, a movie? No. You ever wanted to do that? Oh, no. You don't want nobody to know what happened. I don't want no reality show. I don't want no damn movie about me. All I want to do is spend my money and get me some more money and spend it. I used to wear two left boots to school when I was a kid. Get the hell out two of here. Two fucking left boots in Detroit. So, you know, I was a broke motherfucker. Mm. So when I make money, that makes me happy. Mm. Like, all I can do is when I don't want to get up, I think about them two left boots. Mm. <laughs> do, do you ever go back to Detroit and like, know what I'm saying, they have any foundations or charities or something like that? Oh, hell no. <laughs> <laughs> do what? Charity? Shit. <laughs> there wasn't no charity when I was doing them fucking two left boots. Anybody <laughs> gave me no money, buy me a right boot. <laughs> right, right, right. <laughs> then there'll be some money being made around here. Money being made around here. Brains over. Big old house. Diamond ring? Did you like that kind of thing? Oh, the boondocks. We got to talk about the boondocks. Oh, yeah, we finished with the boondocks. It's canceled. What you talking about? Yeah, they canceled. You, you know what people said? That they, they uh, When y'all came back, it was something different about the show. Yeah, because Aaron McGruder wasn't, uh, he wasn't the uh, writer because they fired him. Why they Sony thought it was going without him? Yeah, that's, that's why they had, already, they had already put the money down for us. And, and um, they want him to write three shows a week. He said, I can't write that fast. I got other things to do. I got my wife having twins, and, and I got another pro- project going on. So they say, okay, we fire you. Get somebody else to write it. You can't get them. They ain't trying to get somebody to do my voices, all our voices. Get the fuck out of here. People say, I can't do no damn spoon voice. Mm. You know, but that's 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 our, that's our cold Hollywood. That's, your, that, that's what it is. Cold man. Hollywood, brother. They fired him, and the whole shows were not the same. Mm. You know, you know. They fucked that shit up. Mm, it's over now. Like I always say, you just can't say you're really something. You got to be John Witherspoon, man. It's been yep. a pleasure and an honor. Pleasure, brother. Hey, man. Thank you. You got you diamond down, brother. Look at you. Well, I just saw 50. that. It's 50, man. Play a player. It, it, it's 50, man. Day, day. <laughs> yeah. All right, we out of here. Don't kiss them hoes in the mouth unless you got to. <laughs> bang, bang, bang. Oh, don't ever kiss the hoes. <laughs>